Hey guys and welcome back to Papi English. My name is Sam and I'm traveling the world and teaching you English. Today I'm in Reggio Emilia in Italy and we're going to explore the city and learn some English. So let's go. This is Reggio Emilia, a small city packed with history and charm. If a city is packed with something, it means it's completely full of it. Not only that, but Reggio Emilia is packed with delicious foods that are to die for. So welcome to Reggio Emilia and let's learn English. So here I am in Piazza Prampolini, the main square of Reggio Emilia with many important buildings. The square is home to Sala Tricolore, which had a huge hand in Italian history. If something has a hand in something else, it means it contributes or influences it. It was here in Reggio Emilia where the green, white and red tricolour flag was first proclaimed in 1797. If something is proclaimed, it's announced and presented to the public. It's a symbol of unification and freedom, which at the time was still a far-off dream. A far-off dream is a dream that is very distant and will take a long time to achieve. It would be nearly 100 years after the proclamation of the flag for Italy to become a united nation. Next we're going to San Prospero Basilica, which also has a fascinating history. So behind me is the San Prospero Basilico. Okay, so here I made a mistake with my Italian. Basilico is basil in English, and basilica is a type of church. Okay, the best way to learn a language is by making mistakes. Let's continue. And San Prospero is the saint of Reggio Emilia. And there is a legend about this saint that says, when the city was under attack from Attila, he brought down a thick fog to hide the city. Okay, so a thick fog came down and that way the city was safe. You could say that they dodged a bullet. If you dodge a bullet, it means you manage to avoid a bad, dangerous or disastrous situation. Thank goodness for that. Anyway, now it's time to get some food. I would like something typical from Reggio Emilia. Typical from Reggio Emilia? Yes. I could give you a erbazzone. Erbazzone okay. is this one. It's very, very good. Spinaci inside and parmigiano reggiano. Wow, okay. Uh, <laughs> Altrimenti, gnocco. gnocco. Gnocco, okay. Uh -huh. Yes, please. And uh, if you want, I can uh, make inside mortadella, pancetta, parma, 24 mesi. Perfect, perfect. One and one. Okay. One of each. The food was unreal. That's another way of saying the food was unbelievable. It was that good. So this is Piazza Fontanesi, a place to hang out, so relax with friends, or mill around. That means move around without any real purpose. You can get a coffee here or an aperitif, a drink with something small to eat. So let's go and ask some locals what it's like to live in the city of Reggio Emilia. Guys, so what is the best thing about living in Reggio Emilia? Difficult way, <laughs> mm, I really like uh, because it's a small town and this is my favorite square because it's full of trees, as you can see. A, a little city, yeah, the people are very friendly. Okay. Ma, but uh, in uh, all Emilia Romagna, the people are friendly. Yeah, yeah I like uh, the city, I like to uh, stay with my friends, I meet my friends, I meet. Uh, uh, I study here. Reggio Emilia is in my heart and uh, I love the people of the Reggio Emilia and uh, I love the Erbazzone. Erbazzone? <laughs> yes, yes. What is the best thing about Reggio Emilia? The food, the culture, the people? Food, people, eh, stop. Perché poi, eh, no, perché c'è mia moglie. And my favorite food, cappelletti. Cappelletti? 
Reggio Emilia is so famous uh, uh, for uh, children because uh, there is an, import an important uh, um, association that, um, that is named um, Reggio Children. Good morning, very good morning. Good morning. I live in Reggio Emilia. Ah, in Reggio Emilia. My, my work is the, the, in Greek Hello. grocer in the place. You speak very good English. No, my English is very elementary. No, it's very good. Where are you from? You? I'm from England. England? Cornwall? No, Stratford-upon-Avon. I'm ah. from Stratford-upon-Avon. <laughs> Stratford-upon-Avon, do you know it? No. It's the city of William Shakespeare. Wow! Yeah. So wonderful. Tell me about Reggio Emilia. What is the best thing about Reggio Emilia? The people. The people? They're nice. <laughs> and the food. Also the food. The food in this region is off the charts. So that means it's on another level. It's far better than what you can find in the normal place. Really, the pasta is amazing, but here they've got so many good things. It's really, really good. After speaking to the awesome locals, I had the privilege to visit an English school to meet their English students. To have a privilege to do something means to have a special opportunity that makes you proud. You can get two three English lessons online or in the school with Pop English using the code PAPI21. Find the details in the description of this video. Now, let's meet one of the teachers. I'm Carly, hi. Carly, where are you from? I'm originally from Italy, uh, but when I was young, I lived in America and I went to school there, I moved there with my family. It was a wonderful experience and that's how I know English as my second language. Wow, so you speak English and Italian yep. fluently. fluently yeah. And how did you become an English teacher? Um, uh, through time, you know, after my studies, I discovered that I really like working with children. And so I decided to use my English skills and put them to good use mm -hmm. and teach English. And why should people come to Reggio Emilia? Well, for us, of course, we are the best uh, language center here uh, because we teach from very, very young children uh, from six months uh, up to adults. So we cover the whole range of uh, people here. So people in Reggio Emilia are so much fun and so friendly. I've had a lot of fun today meeting them and you know, they can speak English. They can. And uh, they're so passionate about their food, which I absolutely love. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. And see you next time. Bye. So there we go. That's the beautiful city of Reggio Emilia. I'm traveling the world and I'm teaching you English. Where do you think I should go next?